Hi friends, today we are going to see the ANSYS tutorial about how to add element type in ANSYS 13. First we have to start with a new creating a new file for that. Go to file, start new, ok. Then change the job name and this tutorial. This example, okay. And just save this job as .db file. Okay. We can also change the directory. Uh, we can change title also. And no need. And two add an element type in ANSYS go to a preprocessor this is ANSYS main menu in this go to preprocessor and select the element type here we have various options like add editor delete element type switch element type add degree of freedom remove degree of freedom element type control you want to just add element type it uh, click add or edit delete button it is not defined okay. click on add okay. you have various types of element types structural mass salt shell constraint contract gasket cohesive combination thermal mass link solid shell and just fluid for trans cfd etc 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 you have a lot of element types are available in ANSYS 13 we just select the solid from that we have also sub options so for creating 3d models we use solid 185 element type we can change 1 2 3 anything apply we select the element type we can also switch element type using this is explicit to implicit, implicit to explicit, and the structure. And another thing is, before going to add element type, we must select our what we say our analysis is about structural, thermal, or uh, specify our analysis type structural, thermal, analysis fluid for trans CFD, magnetic model, or magnetic gauge, or I frequency laboratory. Here we are using structural for oh, click on for selecting element type go to preprocessor then element type we can add or switch element type we can also add the degree of freedom in x direction y direction or all the directions magnetic degree of freedoms pressure and any kind of degree of freedom you can add just up to the 10 degree of freedom we can also remove the degree of freedom selected but by using element type control, we can element formulation. Just we can select various options. Degenerate shapes on here or for on. There is no need. Yes. This is a video about ANSYS tutorial. How to add element type in ANSYS 30. Thank you for watching me. Goodbye.